Item number SCP-2075 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures SCP-2075 is to be held in isolation within a containment unit capable of being hermetically sealed when required. Containment unit is to undergo remote decontamination daily, more if deemed necessary. SCP-2075 is to be supplied with bottled water and nutrient capsules via pneumatic tube three times a day. All interactions with SCP-2075 are to be done by remote microphone. Observational windows are constructed of laminated ballistics glass. Any damage to the containment cell must be repaired immediately by personnel equipped with Level A hazmat gear. SCP-2075-A are to be terminated via incineration and disposed of per hazardous waste protocols unless authorized for research by Site Director. Biopsies are to be stored within individual cryogenic storage units. SCP-2075 has been contained at Sector G of Biological Containment Site-66 since its transfer from GRU Division P in 1991 in wake of the USSR's dissolution. Description: SCP-2075 is currently a 63-year-old Caucasian male, formerly known as Alexei Kravchuk a security guard employed by GRU Division P. SCP-2075 exhales a microbial pathogen capable of extreme neurological alterations. An individual infected by SCP-2075 is classified as SCP-2075-A and is considered an extension of SCP-2075. SCP-2075 is able to exert its anomalous effects regardless of distance after initial infection and will maintain control indefinitely unless SCP-2075-A is destroyed. Experiments using D-Class have suggested SCP-2075 is able to simultaneously use SCP-2075-A as it would its own body. If the primary host is destroyed, the surviving SCP-2075-A will become the acting SCP-2075, exhibiting its anomalous pathogen. SCP-2075 is unable to control more than one SCP-2075-A at a time. SCP-2075 has shown an eager willingness to communicate with Foundation personnel. SCP-2075 claims to have been born in the year 1204 CE. Although there exists no records in which to verify its claims, if true then SCP-2075 is estimated to have been 787 years of age at the time of its transfer into Foundation custody in 1991. SCP-2075 prefers to speak in Russian, but has also revealed itself fluent in English, German, and an archaic Uralic language that does not coincide with any modern known variants of the Uralic language family. Subject is literate, but has made no request for any literature or writing implements. Interview 1991 Interviewed SCP-2075 Interviewer Dr. Albert Cronenberg Forward First interview with SCP-2075 after the successful transportation and containment of Biological Containment Site-66 Begin Log 1306 Welcome SCP-2075 I hope that you are comfortable. Ah, very much so. Good. I would like to ask you some questions. Please answer truthfully. Of course, a man of honesty I am. Ask your questions, Doctor. Noted. First, what is your name? Does it matter? You will call me what you will. I am Carsus Barris. Carsus? Not your birth name, I presume? It is a title, Doctor, but as true a name I might surrender. The name that once belonged to this face is ill-suiting, no? Very well. Do you know why you are here? For same reason Zars keep me in dungeon. For same reason Stalin experiment. You are afraid, Doctor. Much as they were. Please explain your anomalous nature of Abel. One might as well explain the sun to the moon. Try me. When I was small, the Church spoke of two worlds. One of flesh and one of spirit. This is incorrect. There is no perfection in duality. I learned of the oneness of all. Tell me, what does the color yellow feel like? I know you can state some science, but no words will translate the experience. My nature is much the same. I can show you. Come inside, Doctor. I think we'll stop here. Thank you for your time. End Log 1309 Interview 1992 
Interviewed SCP-2075 Interviewer Dr. Albert Cronenberg Forward 7th Interview with SCP-2075 Conversation to focus on missing GRU Division P reports Began Log 1430 When you were first detained, GRU Division P were unable to provide much documentation about you. Said something about a fire in 55? This was before GRU Division P. Before Lenin, Stalin, or Revolution. It was the time of troubles, yes? I was proselytizing in Novgorod, spreading the good word. A massacre had occurred just thirty years prior, and I could feel the mounds of dead as I walked. Sir, Swaska, and Boyer, all were pleased to receive me. But not one, dear doctor. I had one detractor. Please continue. An arch priest of the Eastern Orthodoxy, he was. Declared me witch, heretic, and Bogomir. Of which I was none. Psh, the audacity of that man. He whipped mob into frenzy, torn to pieces I was. Watched the entire event from afar. So you say. Explain to me your experience. Do you die if you lose finger? <laughs> a very humbling experience, to observe a piece of yourself destroyed. An interesting tale, but that was not my question. When were you first contained by GRU Division P? So impatient you are. I have all the time in the world. End Log 1435 Interview 1996 Interviewed SCP-2075 Interviewer Dr. Albert Cronenberg Forward 43rd Interview with SCP-2075 Conversation to focus on missing origin and extent of anomalous abilities Begin Log 1430 Doctor, always a pleasure. Yes, of course. I wanted to discuss your abilities. Ah, dear Doctor, we have been over this, have we not? Have you always been able to control others? It is a gift, one received long ago, touched by Ion, Grand Carses of Adatum. I was embraced into the faith. Yes, I've gathered you have built some superstitions around your ability. I knew you were heathen from start. You surround yourself with abominable machines, like those who wish to fix what was never broken. Broken? Followers of McCain. I take it you are aware of the Church of the Broken God, then? Very much so. They are anathema. We will discuss them later, then. Tell me, who is Ion? High Priest of Adatum, the Grand Carsis, our immortal, most beloved father. Perhaps, dear doctor, you shall meet His Holiness one day. What is Adatum? Adatum? It is a very old city. The way to the Promised Land can only be accessed through the love and unity of Ion. I see. I would like to ask you about your anomaly again. GRU called them Meat Puppets. They are not puppets. We are united as one. How does the pathogen work? Are you transferring your consciousness or altering their own to suit your needs? Dear Doctor, you are not very imaginative. Tell me, is finite life worth living? I heard about life. My heart truly bleeds for you. This interview is over. End Log 1435 Information restricted to Level 4 personnel or above. Item Number SCP-2075 Object Class Keter Special Contempt Procedures As of 2014 SCP-2075 is currently uncontained and its location is unknown. Description: SCP-2075 with a gestalt consciousness currently occupying an unknown number of hosts. SCP-2075 exhales a microbial pathogen capable of extreme neurological alterations. Those infected by SCP-2075 are SCP-2075-A and are considered an extension of SCP-2075. SCP-2075 is able to exert anomalous effects regardless of distance after initial infection and will maintain control indefinitely unless SCP-2075-A are destroyed. Site-66 Surveillance 2400 Three men entered the containment site. They have been identified as Dr. Albert Cronenberg and security personnel Jacob D. Moore and Jonathan Lee. Dr. Albert Cronenberg You requested to speak with me? I am not at your beck and call, SCP-2075. Yet you come when beckoned. 
<sighs> My patience with you has long since waned. Speak and be quick about it. I have seen enough of this place. I will be leaving you now. Are you threatening a containment breach? I have long looked over your shoulder. Truth be told, the man you now observe in your cage could leave whenever he wished. I believe you miscalculated the sum of my parts. Tell me, if you caged the limb of an octopus, have you truly caged the octopus? This one has so many arms to spare. What is this? My containment. It never truly mattered. I have always been quite free. Turn to the right, Doctor. Smile for camera. A message is being sent. Dr. Albert Cronenberg glances at the security camera. An ion held six fingers aloft and upon their spears did the soldiers impale themselves. For you! They cried before the blood drowned their tongues and Ion said, Now do you see? And Nadox wept as more did skewer themselves in Ion's name, for he had seen and now knew the truth of his words. Security! Security! Dr. Cronenberg appears to struggle with Security Officer Lee. Do you see? Security Officer Lee appears to hold Dr. Cronenberg while Security Officer Moore stabs him in the abdomen with a dagger of ceremonial design. Weapon later designated an anomalous object. Video ends abruptly, surveillance camera destroyed. Security personnel were alerted when SCP-2075's containment unit ruptured. An amorphous mass of flesh and bone, considerable in size, destroyed or disabled defense parameters. Sector G was flooded with chlorine trifluoride, eliminating the biological agent. Heavy casualties were suffered, including 56 fatalities. Sector G was deemed a complete loss and is currently being reconstructed. DNA found spread throughout Sector G matched that of Dr. Albert Cronenberg, presumed deceased. Investigation concluded that Jacob D. Moore and Jonathan Lee were both aspects of SCP-2075. Each had over ten years of exceptional service to the Foundation. It is unknown when they were first linked to SCP-2075, but it is believed to have occurred prior to joining the Foundation. Partial remains with their DNA, as well as that of SCP-2075, were found within Sector G. Due to the true capabilities of SCP-2075, it is now believed to have never been fully contained by GRU Division P or the Foundation. Discovered within Sector G with a ring-shaped object constructed of palladium, weighing 2.26 kg and with a circumference of 22 cm, object is non-anomalous and depicts an Ouroboros, believed to be a symbol of religious significance. GRU Division P personnel associated with original containment have been sought for information about SCP-2075. All were recorded as deceased or missing.